Hey guys, create with me not one card, but two cards today with the new beautiful New Horizons Designer Series paper and the Rainbow of Happiness bundle. This is Jamie with GettingCrafty.net. We're going to create two beautiful and unusually shaped cards so they are not your standard size. We have a sweet little three by three card with a dash of sparkle that's sure to brighten your day and we have a gorgeous elongated card right here. I love it and I love that there's absolutely no waste with these two beautiful cards. Cards. If you haven't already, subscribe and hit that bell, and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to work with these cards to make your dynamic crafting really take off to the next level. Let's go ahead and create right now. What we're going to do right now is we're going to dive into the New Horizons Designer Series paper, one of my favorite collections. You can see how to get it right now for free as a giveaway this week, and you can also shop for it in all the products we use with links in our description below or on my blog with full measurements again in the description below. Here is this gorgeous piece of New Horizons Designer Series paper. We're gonna cut it right in the middle. It's a six by six piece. These are now three by six. Do not get rid of them. You're going to need both of them. And actually, um, I'm going to dive in right now and I'm gonna take this piece right here. Um, we're gonna create two cards in this. And so this one here is gonna go to two and three eighths right there. And actually it might be a little bit brighter than I want. I want to cut off some of this blue. Let's see. I just want a little bit of the water right there. Then we're going to take it and we're going to make two unusual shaped or sized cards, not your traditional. Never get rid of these scraps packed full of color. You don't want to lose them at all. But look at that. Isn't that magnificent? <gasps> my new favorite. <laughs> um, this new catalog just rocks, y'all. I can't get enough of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an elongated card and we're going to use that New Horizons Designer Series paper. So here we've got the thick basic white cardstock. We're going to use a bone folder to make a nice impression along the side. Give it a firm push, but you don't have to dig hard. Um, I have a natural shake to my hand, so it's something that I'm a little cautious with. And we're going to use some Blackberry Bliss cardstock, um, Blackberry Bliss ink pad. And then we're going to take this gorgeous piece of New Horizons designer series paper and we're going to pair it with the Rainbow of Happiness Suite. This bundle is 10% off when you order the whole bundle of coordinating products. We're going to be using that greeting as well. Now we're going to use this pretty little rainbow that you see right here. Sweet and tight and cute and neat and I just love it. Love it. All the good words. We're going to go ahead and die cut this right now so you can see what we're going to do to make a sparkling rainbow. I just love the coordination of this project. Make sure you stick to the end so you can see the six different cards we've created. Okay, so you can see where we've die cut and we're just going to remove the die, pull it back, and you're going to see all your happy pieces. Now I put this right away back on my sheet. Um, usually I have a magnet that I've placed on there and I need to update that, but I wanted to play with it before I had time to magnetize that sheet. And here's this gorgeous background scene that you're going to see. Don't lose your bits and pieces. That's going on the second card we're going to create right there. So I literally leave it right on the plate so I don't lose it. Then we're going to turn this over and we're going to use multi-purpose liquid adhesive right here. And we're going to go inside of the rainbow pieces. So just small, you're, you're almost just dragging and smearing it across the different divisions. I have a slight tremor. Sorry about that. And so I'm going to zoom in here. I don't want to make you a little dizzy, but let's do that together. And then I'm just going along these little bits. There's a reason why you're going to be adhesiving to glitter or glimmer paper. Um, and it has a texture. So you want to give a little bit of a of an extra contrast of holding it in. Then we're going to take this gorgeous piece of our rainbow glimmer paper. Look at that. Now, all the measurements for these are on my blog. You can totally check that out. Link in the description. And then we're going to come in here, and I really think the darker needs to go towards the bottom. And we're going to line up the rainbow as you seem fit. Like, whatever you deem fit is what you're looking for. I love a little punch of drama with this card. It's a little darker. Um, it's this great water scene. We live on a river and this is so beautiful and you see all kinds of rainbows and tons of color and, um, wildlife in my backyard. It's one of my favorite parts of where we live. 
What do you have in your view? For me, I am a nature girl and we were very blessed to move to Indiana and we live in a home on a river um, with a private peninsula in the back. So we own all that and we have bald eagles and blue herons and geese and ducks and snapping turtles and fish that jump out of the water on the regular. It's such a blessing. What do you have in yours? Oh, I might be a little bit too tight. Let's scooch out a little bit so you guys can see this without feeling scrunched. Nobody wants to be all up in my face like that. You don't want to see the wrinkles on my hands. So this is multi-purpose liquid adhesive. One of the reasons I love using it is that you can move it around a little bit while it's still setting. So there. And again, another punch of drama. You have that dark Blackberry Bliss right behind this gorgeous New Horizon Designer Series paper and the Rainbow Glimmer paper. Um, and it has that evergreen in there, that gorgeous evening evergreen, which is a, a new in color. And then this is an elongated card. So we're gonna stick that here, but we've not he adhesived it down yet. We're going to be embracing the stamps and words from Rainbow of Happiness. And this one is a little something to brighten your day. It might be a little dramatic, but it's sure gonna make me smile. So there you go. Super easy. Now, one quick tip is if you're going to be stamping with a dark ink like Blackberry Bis on photopolymer, I encourage you to clean it. Our Simply Chamois, I always have it sitting right here and I clean it um, every couple of days, squeeze it out, get it fresh. Um, I do stamp every day, so you know, that goes to to lend towards that. Now remember we're doing two cards today and I'm gonna show you a variety of these cards when we're done. You always want a nice thick card base. So our thick basic white is essential with that. Oopsie. There you go. Oopsie. Uh, again, I should have probably used the multi-purpose liquid adhesive because I like to move it around right there. Oopsie, didn't mean to bump you with my hat. Okay, so we're gonna adhesive this down I did double check and make sure you do this, is that you make sure you know where the card opens. And I think this is stunning just on its own. Uh, this dash of darker sparkly rainbow, a little something to brighten your day and easy. This is probably like easy plus one just because we die cut it there. Um, but let's keep creating with that. So we're gonna create another card that's exact same suite and absolutely no waste. So I have a sweet little three by three card right here. We actually sell envelopes for three by three cards. Um, I stock up on those because they're great when you're giving a gift, like in a gift bag and you just throw a little card on the front. Um, I don't know when the last time you created a little card was, but it's super pretty. And then we have this gorgeous um, piece of New Horizons Designer Series paper. I think it needs to be trimmed down a smidgey. Hold on here. We're gonna go down. Yeah, on one side for sure. I might have trimmed it to the, nope, that's perfect there. Okay. Now, we're having no waste on this project. You can do a couple different things and I wanna kind of show you what we're going to do. I love the drama of this, but I also love the drama of this rainbow. So I want to show you, did you know our die cutting plates really allow you to kind of see through and peek what you want to create? So though that's pretty, it's too much pattern on pattern for me. I'm going to turn it over and let's see what I think of that. Mm, too bright for my tastes. I'm just going to say, so maybe we turn this over and we contemplate what it would look like to have a bright rainbow kind of like that. It's a little bit brighter than I would necessarily go for with this card, but I do love it. Now I'm also going to look, because we're going to be stamping on this designer series paper, I want to make sure I put the rainbow in a place that's not going to conflict with these stamped words. Um, and we're going to be embracing that. So let me grab the pieces and I want to show you with that vellum how it kind of gives you a nice separation. So let's take a peek. What do you guys think of this? This is a very um, kind of, it's a little bit too plain for me. I think I'm gonna flip it over and go with pattern on pattern just because I like the drama factor of it. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing, you guys. I'm not gonna apologize. I think it's just too pretty not to. Now, let's go ahead and see about stamping inside of this card. Again, we have a little something to brighten your day. I also have this one here, which is um, you make this world a better place and it can go there. It's too tight for my opinion. So I'm going to go in a little bit with this, a little something to brighten your day. I like that. I do a lot of that. I eyeball where the stamp should be 
and put that in a little something to brighten your day. You could have stamped on the inside of the card as well, just so you know. Then I lay this over and I start building the rainbow, but I start backwards. So take off the big piece and go little first. So I'm gonna grab my itty bitty here and we're gonna use the multi-purpose liquid adhesive. Again, we're gonna go with all the little pieces and then I'm gonna show you how to hide adhesive on vellum. So what I do, let's go ahead and put this together really quickly and then I'll show you how I hide it. Okay, so you can see here where we have um, grouped it all together and the greeting is a little bit harder to see on the inside. I'll show you how to fix that with photopolymer. Now, vellum will show adhesive um, if it peeks through, so you wanna hide that. So what we're gonna do is go behind the rainbow to create a little thing here. Do not glob it, just a little bit and, and spread it like kind of thin right through there. Then we're gonna place it over the card front as we um, see fit here. Sorry, I bumped you again with my hat. I should not wear a hat when I'm filming. I'm hiding my workout hair from you. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, you guys. Um, I do Taekwondo and Thai boxing with my children and I happen to do both of them and then I didn't wash my hair after. So my hair is a little like big Southern kind of hair. Like the closer I am to, <laughs> to Jesus is as high as my hair will get me. Um, it's just super like poof after a nice big workout. Um, we're going to take this cardstock and give it a nice impression. You don't have to be really heavy handed with that. Now I am the queen of fixing boo-boos, right? Um, also I'm doing this so that the card opens this way. Um, I think it kind of embraces the shape of the, um, rainbow here. And I like the soft, dusty words, but say you want a little bit more of a pop. This is another thing. I'm going to zoom in just so I can show you guys. Let's see. I probably screwed this up, which is okay. Because a beautiful handmade card is even better if it has a little something, something for your family and friends. Vellum is non-porous, so it takes ink longer to dry. And yes, I do know that it's not, not adhesive down here. It's just behind the rainbow. Um, so I did pat the same greeting in the Blackberry Bliss, and because it's photopolymer, I can go over it and stamp straight down on the vellum and pull up, right? Boom! I fixed it! One of the beautiful parts of vellum, I mean with photopolymer um, stamp sets, is that you can see through it. You can. So again, remember, I'm going to stamp immediately. Blackberry Bliss is a dark, heavy um, ink base. So what you will have is it will stain your stamps. Like it's not clear. It's a little bit red here and you can see that that's from using Blackberry Bliss probably for the most of this. I really love the combination. Um, but so I clean it right away so that it stays as clean as possible. Um, and that's true really with any photopolymer, but let me just show you, this is how this card came out. And then say you want to take it up a notch. I'm going to take my clear wink of Stella and go right over the rainbow just to give a little twinkle to the eye that I think rainbows do. Um, I would not do this with the ink. Uh, this is a sparkly glycerin based um, pen and you wanna be careful with this brush because it will pull color and kind of muddle it. But there it picks up the stunning rainbow just ever so slightly. It's not in your face, um, but it is gorgeous. So here we have two beautiful, a little bit darker than normal rainbow cards. Let me back out, hold your panties here. All right, well, buckle your buckle your belt, my auntie would say. Um, so this is the New Horizons, the Rainbow Glimmer, and the Rainbow of Hambinus stamp set, but let me show you how it comes out with a couple different varieties. This is the same collection, so let me see if I can kind of do it like this so you can see it without competition. Like, I think that they compete like when I'm showing it, so hopefully not. Um, this is really a lot more color and pretty intense, and I love it so much. Um, I think it's gorgeous, and this is using the Evening Evergreen, and this is the small little mini card that we created with that. And then I created another one. You should be able to see this one as well. It's a quick little um, on a short video you can catch here. This is using the uh, Papaya uh, cardstock 
and the evergreen in the same collection. And then this is the mini card of it. I love it so much. Now I have a question. Which is your favorite? Do you love A, B, or C? I don't know. The white, um, just, I love the way the white makes these cards, which are a little bit darker, pop. It helps to make them pop. So I hope this inspires you. Um, you should be able to see these upcoming cards coming your way. We'd love for you to join us all week long. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. You want to join us so you don't miss out on crafting all week long. Um, we'd love for you to see all my past videos as well. Let me know what you think. Oh, and if you would like to see how to win this designer series paper for yourself, go ahead onto my blog at gettingcrafty.net and you can see how you can win it for yourself. We will have a new product each week that we're featuring and then that we're giving away a new version of it. I hope that it excites you as much as it does me. Thanks for joining me today. Happy stamping. Bye.